All right, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, that I do um, have the Retro Freak um, firmware installed on my Retron 5. Yes, got the lights glowing. Got the controller in my hand, and out of the box, um, this firmware allows you to play um, your games in full 1080p, unlike uh, Retron 5's uh, official firmware, which was 720p out of the box. You can now install games from cart. All you do is just plop a game right in the cart slot and it will ask you if you want to install the SD card. And uh, yeah, it works pretty darn well. There's, um, you can just select your systems uh, right there. And as you heard there, it also has um, a lot better sound effects than the uh, Retron 5 itself. But uh, yeah, there uh, I got a game in the, the Game Boy, um, uh, the original Game Boy. And uh, this is actually a homebrew. Um, I think I showed it on uh, YouTube, but uh, yeah, Super uh, Jetpack DX. Uh, it is officially works uh, from cart itself, and you can install it to SD card, and it works. Um, you also get to play PC Engine games, as includes Turbo Graphics 16, and of course uh, Europe's version of the system uh, as well. So yeah. The only downside is um, the the um, Retron 5 Plus cartridge that allows you to play Master System Game Gear and the uh, Master System card. Um, it doesn't work fully. Master System games work, Game Gear doesn't, and uh, I'm not really sure about the, the Master System cards themselves. But uh, yeah, let's just load a homebrew game here. Um, yeah, we're just going to load up Super Jetpack DX, and uh, yeah, there you go. You can see Homebrew works, everything works great, and uh, yeah, uh, it looks fantastic on a 4K TV. So yeah, that's it.